I'm here today at the LWRC booth, going to talk a little bit about our new Tricon Mark VI rifle. A little bit about my background. I come from Naval Special Warfare, spent the better half of my adult life working on the East and West Coast. I was very fortunate to have done a lot of interesting things in my time. Once I left the Navy, I started working in the firearms industry and uh, was very fortunate to come into contact with the folks at LWRC. Our very first venture into rifles with them was a, um, a torture test of sorts. And what we did was we took one of their rifles and we put it through the paces. Our protocol was that we wanted to see how well the piston rifles would hold up under extreme use. And we had an idea, but we really didn't know how well they were going to do. They exceeded every expectation that we had set forth. And at a certain point, it just became kind of silly and nonsense to keep pushing. So we eventually kind of moved on. Uh, we approached LWRC about working together on a joint project for the rifles. They were very open to that, and uh, that kicked off our very first rifle project. And then as the years went on, we continued to work with them to evolve the rifles from our very first one. So this is the evolution. This is our current evolution right here. This is what we call a Tricon Mark VI. Um, I'll go kind of like from, from, uh, from the front to the back, from the, from the flash hider down to the buttstock here. One of the things that we wanted to do with regards to the rifle is we wanted to not just build another rifle, but we wanted it to be a, um, a simple purchase for the end user where they didn't have to worry about accessories or they didn't have to worry about what should I put, where should I go, blah, 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 blah. But we created some criterion that we wanted, which was we wanted to create a rifle that met our accuracy standards, also was ultra light, and of course had the durability and longevity that we wanted to see. So with that, once we started working with them, the first thing we tackled was the barrel. We wanted to take that barrel, which is an awesome barrel to begin with, and we wanted to make it better. Better to us meant lighter. So what we did was we experimented with different types of flutings. The spiral fluting we found gave us the most amount of weight reduction, 20% on the barrel itself. So that was huge and that was awesome. Typically piston guns are usually heavy up at the front. So by lightening the barrel, it gave us great balance overall. All the accuracy standards that we wanted were easily met, so we didn't have to worry about that. The next thing we tackled as far as weight reduction was the forein. We wanted to get it as light as we possibly could. We're not so much uh, in, you know, crazy about the ultra long forends. We need them to just be long enough for us to attach whatever accoutrements we're gonna be using, lights and lasers and vertical foregrips. So we don't need them to be ultra long. So that was an easy thing to do. The next thing that we did, um, you know, again, LWRC has so many features that just make the rifle easy to work with. We didn't really have to do a lot with the innards. We didn't have to do a lot with the bolt or the bolt carrier. We'd already made huge improvements on them. But one of the things that we're really happy about is integrating some other uh, third-party vendors into this project. So we went with the, uh, the tangle down short stubby vertical foregrip because that allows us to get a nice purchase and pull that rifle stock into our shoulder pocket. We then went with the Magpul Myad grip because we, we prefer a choked up grip that allows us to get nice and high. So that gave us great purchase and uh, I love the texture of the grip itself. And the real big thing was we kept the SOP mod stock. Now a lot of people argue with the SOP mod stock, blah, 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 blah. But the real reason why we liked it was, number one, just a buttery type cheek weld. Hard to beat the cheek weld on the SOP mod stock. The second thing was, it's not a light stock. And we intentionally wanted that because what we wanted to do was we wanted to beef up the ass end of the rifle to help with the balance. So by keeping the SOP mod stock on the rear, it just allowed us to do some really great stuff there. Um, the, the, the new Tricon model is built off of the uh, IC platform, so we got all the features of the ambidextrous bolt catch, bolt, uh, I'm sorry, magazine release. So that was really nice for us as well. But the final thing that we really were incredibly happy about was we worked with Bill Geisley from Geisley Automatics, and we created the Super Tricon or Super T trigger. So it is based off of the, um, the SSA trigger, which is a, if you haven't used that trigger, it is probably one of the best triggers out there on the market. So we took all of the guts from that, and then what we did was we worked on the trigger bow itself. So the trigger has actually got about a 7% decrease in the bottom profile, so it's straighter towards the bottom, which allows the shooter to get more leverage, more uh, surface area on the trigger itself. Then we serrated the front part of it to give that real nice tactile feel. So you add that with the accuracy standards that you already get from the gun itself, and it just gives us an amazing output. Performance capabilities are really, at this point, limited to the shooter's ability. There's really no excuse that you can come up with regarding the rifle. It's going to be there for it. 
So we put all this together in a package. Again, we wanted it to be kind of like a fire and forget, so when the end user buys it, it comes in a nice rifle case that we custom made. It comes with a custom rifle sling as well, so really all the shooter has to do is mount an optic, mount a light, if you're going to use lasers. All of those are so subjective that we just left them up to the end user to figure out what they wanted to use. But the bottom line is that the rifle is good to go out of the box and into the fray. So um, that's it pretty much on the Tricon Mark VI. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as we do.